Ladies and gentlemen, hello, welcome back to Final Fantasy 13 on A and Z. Hello, Vanille. Hi. Hello, Saz. Hi. Is there lightning anywhere in a foreseeable distance? <laughs> I'm ready and perfectly prepared for whatever comes next. Oh, yeah, even Vanille has already sit it down. <laughs> she has sat down. She does not anticipate any advancement. Oh, yeah. The time has come for battles. No time for faltering and waiting. Destroy the succubi. Very nice. Let's just... Let's just seal the deal for these guys. No way. Don't you even think of debuffing us, little... Little blanket winged monster. It's like so weird. Does this monster have blankets for its wings or something? <laughs> That's some creative thought these Japanese developers have put into this game, I should say. That's for sure. Okay. Anything else around here? Whoa! They have attacked us from the skies! Battle formation! Destroy them one by one! Focus them down and we'll be... Home in time for supper! Come on, lightning! I need your help on this one! Oh my god! It has disabled two out of three attacks! No way! Lightning will avenge me! Oh yeah! <laughs> you think you can stand a chance against Mighty Zauberhaft? No one can! Uh, hello! There is a succubus accompanying these two guys, so destroy the succubus and then switch on the buffing mode! Holy! Put bravery on lightning. I must like say everything I'm doing. Oh my god, interruption again. Vanille, this is for you. This is a weird sound Saz is making, like no 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 But okay, we're all okay. Good job, Vanille. Good job debuffing this guy. Good job sabotaging this Pulsework soldier! Now finish him off! Finish him off! Done for! Go for a smart bomb, we must stagger him! Good! Staggered! He's gonna be done! We actually did not have to use a smart bomb because we got Commando in our crew Everything went so good. It's all because of Lightning is here. It's all because of her sheer embering. If memory serves, gives 20% resistance to fire. Well, it's because we'll need the fire resistance soon enough. And you will see why. Hurry up. Okay. On it. Following you, Lightning. So nice to have you back that I just... I'm just following. I have been trying to be a leader, but... For this particular section, I feel like being so banged up. Uh, I don't know. But judging by the fact that he's lying in the center of an arena, you know what's gonna happen. If there is like an... If there is like a huge arena for a battle, and something lying in the center. Isn't that suspicious? It's so suspicious that I cannot even do anything about it. I cannot help smelling a rat. Okay, okay, I'm going. Lightning, Vanille, keep it up. Stay together. We will be sharp and very attentive. Do 
Do you feel anything? No? Might just be safe. Uh-oh. Oh, goodness. This is a gigantic That's war machine. For us, isn't it? You have eyes, don't you? Eyes? Well, it has eyes, too. Oopsie daisy. Battle formation. Protective stance. Start with bully. Buff us all. Protection. Okay, bravery for self doesn't work. Give bravery to lightning. And then faith on self. Before it uses its devastative spells. We must be able to do some damage. Dreadnought. It hit. It's got disabled. Fully attack. I have forgotten to use the Libra on it. Steam clean. That means the thing is going to... Good, we're doing good. Up until he, it's got the debuffs on it, we are doing good. It has disabled the debuffs. Use the smart bomb. By the way, what do we have on it? Yeah, I'm using just fire because it has no magic weaknesses, basically. So, we just need to keep those debuffs on the Dreadnought because that's the only way to go to defeat it safely and fast enough. Relentless Assault. Probably we could as well use the Tri Disaster. And now I'll just use the potion, because I don't want to waste it. Attack it! Full-scale attack! It's down! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Run away! It has used its primary weapon! Not yet, Saz! Oh, oh! Easy there, Mr. Dreadnought. We will finish you. Go for a bully again. Bravery, lightning. Faith on self. Vanille, catch. Attack! Let's not cut him any slack. You'll get finished off before you manage to say hello to your predecessors. Go for Tri Disaster and stagger him as fast as we can. Stagger the Dreadnought. It's not gonna endure for long. Breaking wall. Oh god! Come on. Use some of the potions. Use it steam clean. Repeat attacks! Stun him repeatedly! No steam clean for now. Can it unleash any devastative spells? I don't think so, so we'll just use another potion. And attack! And then attack some more! No time for, for him to recover. Let's not give him any opportunity. Smart bomb! And relentless assault again! While he's debuffed! And done for! <laughs> yeah, I did not expect such devastative blows from him, actually. One blow almost put us down into the red, which took some time for doing that and I still don't understand why one star down because well well I think we have been spending too much time just trying to debuff him but I kept debuffs up maybe I have made some of the mistakes so if you have the answers go ahead and tell them in the comment section I'd like to know because normally I have always been like I never had any trouble facing the guy, 
But now, for example, <laughs> that's a bad situation for giving one star down for an unknown reason. Alright, one way or another, we have what we deserve. Which the game says. We must have done something wrong. The medic role is now avail available for lightning, and the commando role is now available for Sa. So they have learned a lot from here. Lightning understood that we need a better healing next time, and Saz understood that if he wants to do anything efficiently, the best bet for him is to learn to lead the crew. <laughs> That's it. Pulse is crawling with things like that, isn't it? Well, maybe. Not me. Not even the core has access to intel on Pulse. Oh. Soldiers in the field fight blind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because they I don't want that. anybody to know anything but about Pulse you for know sure. Exactly what you're up against. Target's a target. Oh, that's a philosophy. You like to keep it simple, don't you? I stick to my goal. <laughs> Isn't that simple as enough? Long as you have a goal, you can fight. You can stay alive. Oh. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty pessimistic, but I believe that this had some effect on on hope right there. You can upgrade weapons and accessories at save stations using your Omni Kit and the various components you collect on your journey. First, approach a save station and then press A to access it. Then select upgrade from the save station menu to access the work the workbench. Well, I tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. We are not going to get busy about the upgrades up until the very last stages. Probably I will upgrade a couple of weapons in the last stages of the game, but right now there is no need to. There is absolutely no need to waste any of my supplies right now and any of uh, the money I have collected. Yes, yes. I know that m that might have been a temptation, but... There are means to upgrade stuff. There are uh, optimized means to do that, and I don't have the resources to utilize those optimized means. So, I may be able to upgrade a couple of weapons right now, but this is not going to be at top efficiency. So, I'll save it for later, for the last stages of the game, for uh, the late chapters of the game. But we'll read about something we have to know beforehand. After choosing upgrade, select the weapon or accessory that you wish to improve. Next, you will need to select the type of component you wish to use for the upgrade as well as the quantity. The combined experience value of the chosen components will then be applied to the target piece of equipment. After enough experience, uh, okay. After enough experience has been spent on a weapon or accessory, its level will increase, improving its abilities and attributes. Yes, that's exactly so. And some people also uh, advise on upgrading not weapons, but accessories. Because you will not be able to upgrade your weapons and they will not give you all that much. It's like 100 or 200 addition to your stats and not more. You will not get more. And just the fact that you will have several thousand in, in stats by the end of the game does mean that one additional, one additional 100 magic or one additional 100 strength is not gonna give you all that much. So it doesn't really make it all that different. But upgrading your accessories, vice versa, requires a lot less supplies, a lot less components, and might be a lot more beneficial, especially if you just want to complete the game and don't want to stay in-game afterwards for more grinding, for more sub-quests, if any, or just for your pleasure. Well, yes, I'm here just to finish off the game, first of all. Grinding... I will cut it to the minimum. To the minimum, like, if there is no necessity for grinding, I will just skip it at all. If I feel that there is a necessity for gaining some more additional experience before going onwards, then I will, 
but I will let's cut, cut it to the minimal amount possible. So the best bet probably, yeah, it's an option to upgrade accessories. So choose as you will. I will just stick with what I have for the time being. If there is a necessity, I will upgrade. But for now, I'll just keep it same, the same as it is. Certain components bestow a bonus to any experience spent on a piece or equipment. By utilizing these components, you will be able to make more efficient upgrades. Likewise, some components reduce an item's experience bonus. Careful consideration is required when deciding which components to employ. Yes, basically... Once a particular piece of equipment has reached its maximum potential, its level will be replaced by a star. At this point, no further level advancement is possible, but the item can be transformed into an entirely different uh, into an entirely different one by means of or specialized components. When this happens, both its name and properties will change. A newly transformed item may initially seem weaker than it did in its previous form, but unlike its fully upgraded predecessor, it will be eligible for a level advancement. Through further upgrades, it can be made even more powerful than its earlier incarnation. Well, that's pretty much self-explanatory here. What I wanted to say is... Yeah, uh, I think... Think, yeah, it also says we can dismantle those items we don't need for more components. Yes, we can, but we will not. Not really interesting thing to do. Maybe if we got too many, we will dismantle a couple of them, but again, only because we need that, only if we need that. This, I think, could be improved for this game. Let me be critical over here for time being. This item upgrading is a little bit either excessive or underdone. I think it could have been a lot more interesting, but this has just a wild variety of different components. But they basically fall into three groups. First is the one that basically is uh, an organic group gives little experience but boosts the experience bonus so that the following investment is better in percent and the second group is mechanical which gives large quantities of experience but gives minus two experience bonus so you get less experience with all with every further usage and there is a third group of components, which are basically not even components. Those are items and different stuff you can sell for money. And there is one more group, which is not even a group, but a separate, a separate point of consideration, which is... Uh, I don't know what they're exactly called... Catalysts, I believe. Those items used for transformation of weapons. Well, those that are used once they reach their final stage of leveling. And finally, unwanted equipment can, we, can be scrapped for parts by selecting Dismantle. Just the way I have said that, the equipment itself will be destroyed, but you will be able to salvage components, some of which can be obtained in no other way. Well, yes, that's the key issue at least some motivation for dismantling the items. There exist well over 100 different components. This is what I don't know what for. Obtain as many as possible and experiment with their effects in order to determine the most efficient and effective ways to customize your arsenal. We will try, but believe me ladies and gentlemen, there are enough guides and enough uh, reference pages in the web just for us to be able to do the best we can in terms of upgrading our weapons. Just just tap in some Final Fantasy 13 weapon upgrades and you will see which weapon has which buffs and which components you are supposed to use in which quantities and 
basically all the questions will be answered and even where to find them it's going to be entire lecture for me if I try to explain everything at this point so there is no particular particular need to do that right now uh, yeah that does except for the fact that that might be a little bit tires to go all the way up Oh yeah, if I were among these guys, I would have been out of breath right now, like... <sighs> My god. Scout ahead. Fine, Lightning, that's a nice thing to do. At least there will be no necessity for Vanille to do that. Because she's constantly doing that. She's, she constantly seems to be eager to run forward. Even after that lesson with the Garuda Interceptor. Hmm. We have already had our share of bosses. That must not be anything dangerous. Will we finally get some rest? <sighs> See, Lightning? Not much of a future for us, huh? Hard to picture a happy ending. We don't even know where to go. I do. Where? Where exactly? There. What the? Eden? The sanctum seat of power. <laughs> really? The oh, capital city? Discharge right in there. Give what a for? Taste of the sea Is that what you want, Lightning? You're serious. Keep running. It's die or turn seath. There's no place for Lassie to hide. Ah, uh, yeah. They want to fight. Let's take it to the sanctum's door. This isn't a game. <laughs> no. no. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Started with Sarah. The Falci took her. Now I'm a Lissy too. And the Sanctum's hunting me. An enemy of the state. But who's pulling their strings? A Falci. Aww. Eden. Cocoon sustainer and guiding light. So that's your focus. Too. Pulse and Sanctum Falci. They're all the same. And we are all the same to them. Expendable. I'm oh. not dying a Falci slave. So? What are you gonna do? Destroy it. Destroy the Falci and you Sanctum? Crazy? Say you pull it off. Hmm? What's that get you? Satisfaction? Uh. Something happens to Eden, it's lights out cocoon. So now we're talking of destroying Cocoon. Easy! She said to save Cocoon. It might even be our focus to make sure Cocoon's... Our focus doesn't matter. How does it, Lightning? Don't take orders from Falci. How I live is up to me. I see. Don't you mean how you die? Doesn't that mean the same? Better to pick your path and keep moving. Don't worry. Well, this is something I cannot argue with. Destroy the world. If it did come to that, <laughs> wonder if our hero try to stop me. <laughs> you want to fight Snow now? Just like that, and your enemies? But she will if she has to. Next time we meet, we might be too. <laughs> well, she's not even hesitating saying that to children. It tore us all apart. Lightning was suffering. Reaching out to us. But none of us could see it. Snow deserves it. Oh, that's the final blow for hope. None of this ever would have happened. <laughs> I don't know what I should do. That yeah, makes two of us. <laughs> oh, hey. hey! You're taking care of me! It won't be if you keep pushing me like that. So guys, if anyone asks me, I would have go no, I would have gone with lightning and hope, because hope needs protection, and lightning has a goal, unlike Saz and Vanille. Those two don't have any. I'm going with you. At I least something lightning anymore. can do. I can fight. 
I'm not afraid. And I'll help him on the way, Lightning. Don't worry. Soldiers, eh? Great. A Psycom hit squad. Oh. So these guys are eager to fight. They want to face us. So you're going to taste my sword. Blitz them down to the ground and finish them off. Start focusing the tracker. They're using some kind of mana drive. Disable the guy. Finish him off. And finish the remainder. Attack in the center lightning. They won't stand a chance if we stay together and if we keep it focused. Say goodbye. We did it! Are you satisfied, Lightning? We still can fight. That was not bad. Really? Thanks. Looks like even Hope has picked up something after all these battles. Isn't that reassuring? Ah, uh, where are these two are going to go? What now? They got separated. That's what, what now. now. I mean, we could stay here, but shouldn't we? Run? Huh? We should run. I'm guessing that's you know, all that's we'll left for them. Away. You know, you're right. I guess. I mean, it's not like lightning needs any help. <sighs> At least that's the way lightning puts it. But she does need help. Be I more think. Soldiers. We should keep moving. Lightning. Agree with hope. Worried about the others? I'm sure they got away. Okay. So can you if you leave now. But he doesn't want to. Me, it'll be fight after fight. I don't know how it'll end. It's anybody's guess. I know that. So that will be anybody's guess, but it's going to be our goal. Right. We'll make him stronger together if you want to. Call me Light. What's the plan from well, here? That's better. Through the gap or Whitewood to Palampolum. We'll find transport to Eden. Aww. I live in Palampolum. I can show you all the shortcuts. No side trips. <sighs> No need. I don't think Lassie are welcome at home. Fine. Looks like we got a plan. It's not like we got a goal, but we got a plan right here too. That's really nice. Need to get something off your chest? Uh I think she doesn't help. I think she's A okay. Spot something? Not right now. Probably a little bit later. Keep it up. Just don't stray too far. I spot the safe station. That's what I spot. We can make a camp over there before advancing on any further position. One thing I want to check out is paradigms as usual. But the paradigms... I nay, they have changed so far. We got different ones. Dual casting and slash and burn as usual. Super soldier for buffing and double dose. I think we might just need one more paradigm with one medic should we require it. And everything is going to be okay. Because two medics sounds a little bit excessive. We will need the two medics for a couple of battles in this particular situation, that's for sure. But at the same time, not every battle, by far, is going to be this tough for the two medics to be required. So one medic will do at this point. Simultaneously, I want to finish off everything Crystarium related. All the characters at this point can now develop further. So... I think... We'll go for... We'll, we'll get this... Uh, Royal levels, but I 
feel like I should get the accessory as fast as I can. Oh, and that's gonna be a tough thing to do. If I'm gonna get the accessory, it's gonna take some time before anything like that happens. And in terms of hope... What does Hope have? A couple of... A couple of stat nod nods and probably role level as Synergist an accessory in a Synergist, so that's where we go for There's the accessory. We will have to spend some time doing that Let's just do what we can it's like the further you go, the more experience you need to cover your needs and to meet your own demands. <laughs> I mean, it's natural, but the fact is that the amount of grinding grinding also increases. And the temptation of uh, filling your Crystarium to the maximum is growing and growing all the time, because... Well, for example, I'd like to play safe, that's for sure. If I can be stronger, I would engage the following tough battles with maximum strength if I had. If, if I have any opportunities to do that. A couple of soldiers! Gunner. Let's destroy the gunner first. Because the gunner has less health, less protection. And the regular is much more agile. So let's just destroy the support and finish off the main enemy first. Well, not first, right after we have finished the support. Haven't we been around here, Hope? Done straight too far. We still have work to do. Hello, soldiers! You look like you have found some treasure sphere. I will wait for time being. No, that's not, that's not a good idea. Let's just focus them one by one. They're standing too far from each other. Okay. Well, that's fairly easy. No big deal. Not much effort needed. Just kill them one by one. Okay, don't leave that behind. Fiber optic cable. Probably a lot of experience on that if we choose to use it. Hello, soldiers. Want some more? Destroy the gunner first. Nice thing he's in the middle. It's like... Uh, I can use him to damage the two remaining soldiers simultaneously. And now that they're too far from each other, I have nothing else left but attacking them individually. Fine, we've done that. And more CP gained. They're giving us tens of CP just for defeating those soldiers. Isn't that curious? Let's go, Hope! Whoa, what is this? That might be some dangerous machine. I, sh I sure know what to do with the dangerous machines. Even though they make me hiccup out of my slash and burn. Ulan! Uh, isn't that the name of some sort of a uh, knight? Do we know anything about the guy? Nothing whatsoever. Oh god, it has kind of locked me for a short duration of time. One more attack and he's in a stagger. Switch for slash and burn and finish the deal. Well... Lightning and Hope form a really nice duo. But I think Saz and Vanille are a better crew. Just because they are capable of bestowing a lot of 
a lot of buff buffs and uh, damage your opponents really fast and really efficiently. Even though they're kind of less protected, but that's not really a, a big deal. They still can pull greater things off, at least in the last stages of the game. Right now, probably Lightning and Hope are better than Saz and Vanille, Saz and Vanille but uh, I think I think the situation will change soon enough. I'm just trying to be objective. Yes, we will go further. Very soon, ladies and gentlemen. That for the time being, I will have to stop and get a tiny break until the following episode of Final Fantasy comes. So, goodbye for now. I'll see you next time. Cyberhaft, signing out.